It's time I become the Straw Hat Luffy in One Piece Minecraft. In today's video, I will be setting sail yet again, but this time it's a little bit different. This time we are in our custom One Piece Minecraft server featuring custom built locations from the anime and manga. However, as you can see, we've added some things. Not only have we mapped out the entirety of the East Blue, but we have also mapped out the entirety of Paradise, the first half of the Grand Line. We've added achievements, custom loot drops from enemies, and more. But enough talk, let's get into the video, and if you are enjoying yourself, consider clicking that subscribe button because you're not going to want to miss this journey to become the King of the Pirates. Let's do this. I went to Party's Bar and unlocked another advancement. Boba was sitting at the bar as usual, so I took a seat and we talked for a bit. Boba mentioned that he had to go take care of something, so he went outside. Oh my god, the Gomu Gomu no Mi, Luffy's devil fruit. This must be my present. So I started scarfing it down. Oh, rough. You did make Gomu Gomu no Mi? You did it. At this point, I think it's time to pick my faction, race, and fighting style. I chose to be a pirate obviously, a human, and I decided to be a brawler since I was a swordsman in the previous two videos. As I followed Bobo to the dock, I found a Kung Fu Dugong, and I punched it in the face and told it to be my apprentice, but it refused. So I beat it up. Bobo was impressed with the control I have over my new Devil Fruit powers already and called me over to the steps. He took off his prized hat and gave it to me. Bobo told me that he believed in me and that he was betting on the next generation. He headed off and told me to give the hat back to him, but not until I was a strong pirate. I headed out and decided with my new devil fruit powers, I needed to show that sea king who's boss. It's terrorized Fusha village long enough. As you can see, I made that sea king my bitch. After sailing for a little bit, I found an island nearby and fought off a marine trader and stumbled upon Bran Cow the Scary, a super powered spider. It was a tough battle and I had to run away a few times, but I managed to finish it off. I had some pie to restore my strength and checked out the loot I got from defeating it. A shield and Bran Cow's ironclad ferocious cuisis of latent magic. I don't even know if I said that right, but that's what it is. Holy, that was a long name. But oh baby, almost a nine armor and protection three? This is a fantastic set of armor already. I went into a cave nearby and found a ton of coal. And there was even an imposter wearing a straw hat. So I struck that thing down. I crafted torches and continued on deeper into the cave and found... Is that Soul King? Oh no, not Soul King, not Soul King. He's firing arrows at me. I finished him off, grabbed the rest of the iron and headed back to the surface. Unfortunately, above was worse than below. It was absolute madness. There was spiders, there was drowned, zombies, Soul King stands. And is that Mr. Five from Baroque Works? No, maybe it's just his underlings, but damn, are they crazy? They blow themselves up. This world is messed up, man. Oh, look, a fighting fish. Die. I fought these monsters until morning, and I ran into a group of Marines trying to capture another pirate. I tried to help him, but then realized Akainu and Kizaru were there. I need to get out of here. I started running, but had to finish off the stray Marine and Baroque Works bomber before I head to the next island. I sailed on for a while until I came across a pink swan-like ship. So I sailed closer to it and found a pirate hideout right next to it. So I docked my ship and decided to check it out. And wouldn't you know it, a pirate brawler was there. I spoke with him to see if he was willing to give me a trial and he did. He gave me the suplex trial, which required me to kill 30 enemies using my fists. But from the madness on the previous island, I had already completed it. I handed it into him and he gave me a new trial for spinning brawl. To unlock this ability, I need to kill 20 enemies using suplex, but I'm only 5% there. I got a ways to go for this ability. It was time to equip my suplex, but I realized I had unlocked some other abilities as well. Soryu, which allows me to move at an extremely high speed for a short amount of time, and Takai, which hardens my body to protect me from the damage. The downfall, though, is that I can't move when using Takai. 
but it will come in handy in a pinch. I decided to go check out the pirate base and it seems I found Alvida's base, but pirate alias is living here as well. They even left a sign asking to please not steal. That's pretty optimistic for a pirate. So what did I do? I immediately started looting their barrels. There was some golden pants, but they weren't better than my current iron ones. But I did manage to snag Rhonda's gold tunic of latent magic, which had armor of five, reach of four, projectile protection six, and magic protection five. I also stole the Sun Lobo Squid's lethal iron saber with smite five and vorpal three. They also had some bamboo inside the furnace, so I started smelting my iron. While the iron was smelting, I decided to go check out Alvida's ship to see if there was any loot or pirates on board. There was none on the top deck, so I went down below and found the crew just chilling, but were enemy pirates, so I took them down easily. I found a chest above the bed and found a big mace with 11 damage, so I looted the weapon and headed back to grab my iron. When I managed to get back to the base, there was a marine outside waiting, so I killed him and grabbed my iron. More pirates and some more marines showed up and I fought them until nightfall, but unfortunately the monsters came out and it was absolute madness. After fighting my way through waves of monsters that felt like it was never ending, the leader of the monsters came out. I defeated him, grabbed his loot, and headed out. It wasn't long after I left the island that I found a giant marine galleon, so I had to climb aboard and see if there was any loot or marines to fight. The boat had some serious damage on the inside and I kept hearing moaning from underneath the deck, so I used my axe to break through the floor to check it out, but I couldn't see anything. After trying to jump and missing it, I accidentally fell down and there was a bunch of monsters that started to fight me. I guess I must have made a little too much noise because the marines showed up and started firing at me. But stupid marines, I'm a rubber. Your billets don't work on me. I beat them down, but more monsters kept showing up one after another. A witch and an enderman showed up too. I finished them off and after taking down the enderman, I got an ender pearl from it. I kept fighting the monsters in this ship, but it just feels endless. Like the Marines were doing some weird genetic testing with Dr. Vegapunk and just releasing them on me one after the other. There was even a zombie wearing a diamond helmet. So obviously, I defeated him and took the helmet. Now I can't wear it though, since I refused to take off Bobo's straw hat, but at least I have it. It's called treasure people. I am a pirate after all. Now at this point, the monsters felt endless and I could not figure out how to get out from this bottomless hole that I was inside so I needed to strategize but then it hit me I could use my powers to get out of here so I learned a new ability the gomu gomu no rocket and launched myself out from this death trap I practiced my new ability again once I reached the top of the boat and oh my god this ability is absolutely incredible after making my way to the front of the ship, I also managed to find a wanted poster that was sitting at the front. I cracked open the package and found my first wanted poster. It was 20,000 berries. That is an incredible start to the journey. We've had some incredible fights, but this is just the beginning. I left the galleon and set sail. I managed to bump into a fighting fish on the way and was scared due to how easily they can destroy boats, but the Gomu Gomu no Mi is incredible. It's such a fantastic mid to long range devil fruit and the abilities just allow you to defeat these things so easily. I don't think the fighting fish are going to be much of an issue in the future, but I'll have to make it to Syrup Village to get a stronger boat. I've heard rumors of a steel boat that the fighting fish cannot destroy and it's owned by some rich people there. But who knows? The guy that told me is a pretty well-known liar. Anyways, I continued sailing until I reached Shelltown. But that's weird because it was empty. This is a bustling city that generally is really, really busy, but it's completely and utterly deserted. There's no people and even all the furniture seems to have been removed from the buildings. There's also monsters all over town. So I started fighting them off, but I got tired I needed some food and rest. I just sailed across the ocean. I need to replenish my energy. I broke into one of the empty houses, went upstairs, ate a pie, and set up my bed so I could go to sleep. 
The next morning, I woke up and went exploring around the town some more. I used my Goma Goma no rocket to shoot myself into the sky, but the town really seems completely and utterly deserted. I did manage to find a very strong Baroque War Exploder Man, Driscoll, but he blew up before I could defeat him. But hey, I'm alive and he's dead, stupid idiot. I made my way further up the town to some of the houses on the ledge. It seems there's a big tower of some kind at the top of the mountain. These houses above also seem to have more interior damage than the ones below. It almost seems like there was a struggle of some kind. Something doesn't feel right. I continued searching, hoping to get some information before I head to that giant tower. Who knows what I'll find up there. In one of the houses, I managed to find two zombies and one had a diamond sword. I finished them both off and found out the zombie had the vampiric diamond sword of electrocution. I went outside afterwards and was ambushed by five more zombies. I finished them off too and was determined that this town is truly and completely abandoned. It's time to head to the tower. I started heading towards the top of the hilltop and ran into Nicholas the Ogre Slayer on the treetops. I fought him off and after I defeated him, he dropped his ironclad reinforced steel helmet of latent magic. It had enlightenment four, soulbound and protection six. I'll need to try and figure out how to get these enchantments onto my straw hat later, for sure. Now, during the past few fights, it looks like I've defeated enough enemies that I've unlocked Gepo and Shigan. These should come in handy for whatever I'm about to face. I made my way to the entrance of the Marine Tower and found some moss head locked up in the courtyard. What are you doing Hello? in here? Who that? Oh, what? What happened here? The whole the whole town is like abandoned. There ain't nobody here. Why are you locked up? What did you do? Uh, so uh, I, I was just drinking last night and I kind of just fell asleep and uh, woke up here. Oh, so they kidnapped you. Uh, yes, let's go with that. I was kidnapped. Did they like steal your stuff. Uh, yes, I, I had some swords. Sorry. Don't really have the mommy now. Still kind of wondering what this cross thing's about, but did they try to tie you to it? They attempted to, but instead just built a cage around me. Well, I can go in and get your stuff. I mean, are you sure? Like, there, yeah. there's, there's a lot of Marines in there, man. Oh, I don't care. I'm strong. Like, if, I, if I had my swords, I could I could definitely help you out. But oh, I mean, I can go grab them and then we could just beat the crap out of them together. I'm in. Let's go, go cool. grab my swords. All right. After agreeing to grab his swords and free him from the cage, I used my Gomu Gomu no rocket to shoot up to the top of the Marine Tower. But the Marine Captain, Axe Hand Morgan, was on the roof alongside a few other Marines. I punched him a few times and headed inside, taking a few Marines down that got in my way. I snuck into Axe Hand Morgan's room and grabbed some seeking meat and the green guy's swords. I also got a pair of snazzy sandals, a pair of handcuffs for later, and a cigar, just in case I want to feel fancy. I put on the sandals because damn do I look good in sandals. It was time I had back to the green moss and give him his swords back. Unfortunately, the Marines must have been notified by the transponder snails and they had flooded the halls outside of Morgan's room. I fought them off, but one of them snuck Karoseki bullets in my pocket and I almost lost all of my strength, but luckily I was able to get them out of my pocket in time and finished off the Marines in the hallways. I made my way up the steps so I could jump off the roof, but the Marines just kept coming and coming. There was so many. I just had to start attacking as I ran past them. It was absolute chaos. After finally getting past the low level Marines though and making it to the roof, I started fighting off Axan Morgan. It was a rough battle with all the Marines firing and attacking me at the same time. But after I took him down, I rocketed off the tower and headed back to the courtyard to save Mossy. Oh, hey man. Hi. Hold it. You're back. A, yeah, it's a, there's a, there's a lot of, there's a lot of people in there, but let me, let me get you out of this cage real quick. Oh, a spider. He finally told me that he was a pirate hunter named Sioni, but he's done with that line of work. It's the Marines he wanted to make pay after what they've done to him. Now, as a man of my word, it was time to break Sioni out. I gave him his swords and even a third sword I found. Since I'm a brawler, I figured he could use it more than me as a swordsman. I also gave him some Sea King meat to get his strength up. We ate some food and headed back in the Marine base to finish them off and save the town. 
We both ran inside and I jumped ahead so we could sandwich the Marines and take them down. We finished most of them off and then I headed to the second floor while Sione finished off the rest on the first floor. He made his way to the second floor and helped me finish off the rest. It was time to... No, 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 no. Get these Marine outfits out of my inventory. I don't want to be a Marine. I already taught my grandpa, no. Sorry about that outburst. Let's get back to this. After dropping all the Marine filth from my pockets, we headed to the third floor and sandwiched the rest of the Marines that had flooded the floor looking for us due to the panic. Sioni took some serious damage, so I went and gave him some more food to get his strength back up. We continued fighting the Marines until we made it to the prison where all the townspeople were being kept. During the scuffle, though, an accident happened. Did you just kill the no, cat? No. You killed the no, cat? No, it was an accident. It was an accident. What are you? It was there an are accident. two Marines there. You went it for was the an cat? accident. I'm still learning. I just got this fruit yesterday. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Oh, my God. It was an accident. I swear. I'm still learning. It's, it's, a, new, it's a new power. I started breaking open the doors to free the townspeople. It seems that Sioni can't cut through iron, but maybe he'll learn how to do that in the future. We cleared out the rest of the Marines in the base, saved all the townspeople, and headed back to the entrance. Unfortunately, when we got outside, Axan Morgan had recovered and was waiting for us. We worked together and managed to finally put him in his place. We cleared out some remaining monsters and started chatting about our dreams. I let him know I wanted to be the Pirate King. And he let me know that he wanted to be the world's greatest swordsman. I asked him to join my crew, and he explained that he needed some time to think it over. So we headed back into the town to my hideout to call it a night. When we woke up in the morning, we had some steak for breakfast and headed to check on the townspeople. They thanked us and told us to head to Food Foo. They said the owners would be having a party in celebration of us saving the town a little later on. But we were still hungry and we didn't want to wait, so we headed there early to grab some grub. With the berries I had gotten from defeating the Marines, I grabbed some bacon cheeseburgers and nachos. I even bought some extra for the road. Sioni and I sat down to eat our food while we waited for the party to start. We ate and talked, but after a little bit, I got up, grabbed some sake and sake cups. I poured us a drink and asked him to join my crew. He said yes, and the Straw Hat Pirates have officially been formed. From here, we figured we would pregame, so we finished the sake off. The owner called us over and said he had one more gift before the party started. He told me to check the basket behind him, and I struggled a little bit. It was a little fuzzy, but he gave us some sea king meat, sake, and rum out of his private stash for us to share. The townspeople showed up for the party, and we all got drunk, ate, and partied all night long. A few hours of partying went by and the owner brought out cake and more alcohol to really close the party strong. We went outside so I could show off my devil fruit abilities and then we beat up each other a little bit because I mean that's what friends do. Not long after though I completely blacked out. But when I woke up the owner gave us some bread for the road. It was a super nice guy. But it was time to head out. We headed towards the front of Shell Town to leave and we passed the mayor on the way out and he told us that there was a present waiting for us at the docks so we continued onward. When we got to the docks I had unlocked the Shell Town advancement and when we got there we then realized that the mayor gave us a big boat that we could both fit in which would be super helpful for our adventure to come. As we were about to head out though some scrawny marine came running towards us yelling. Stop you dirty pirates the marines will never what? let you go. What? Sh shut up! Shut up! Go! Get out of here! Scram! I'll be an admiral one day and take all of you down! Yeah, I'm sure you will! Run, little boy! Good luck with that! After chasing him off, we hopped in our boat and headed off. And about halfway to our destination, Sioni took over the boat so I could get some rest for the long journey ahead. We set back out and saw a giant blue bird fly on the island ahead of us. So we stopped on the island it landed on and I chased it around. I was starving, I was hungry, and it looked so delicious. But then it flew away, so I chased after it. I used my Goma Goma no rocket to try and catch the bird. Unfortunately, I am still learning how this fruit works and it seems that I may have flown a little too far. 
If you enjoyed the video, click that subscribe button because you're not going to want to miss this journey through the Grand Line. Also, remember, if you want to get in on the action, join the server. Just swing over to patreon.com slash nianoanime. The link's in the description box below. Or if that's not your fancy, the map and mod pack is available for free. Just go into the description or the comments and you'll be able to download it there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next video.